hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you guys how to do loose twists on your natural hair so um i started doing loose twists when i was in nigeria last month i was you know watching some videos on youtube and actually just stumbled on them so i watched a couple of tutorials and i noticed that they were really really nice and if you guys know i've been doing twists a lot i feel like that's part of the reasons why my hair has gotten way longer than it was a couple of months ago so i've been doing a lot of twists i've not really been doing all these crazy crazy styles on my hair so my hair has been protected for the most part it hasn't been breaking it hasn't been getting damaged and stuff like that so i was really happy when i found those twists because like i love them they are like mm. so i'm going to show you guys how to do them on your hair and this works on any length of hair when i was in nigeria i tried it on my mom's hair my mom's hair is kind of like half the length of mine and it still worked well for her she's still wearing hers up to now like and i did her twist like a month ago i also did it on my little cousin she's like three or four so yeah you can do the twist on children you can do it on, on yourself you can do it on anyone really and it works on any length of hair you don't really have to have long hair to do them and um so disclaimer the length of hair you have is actually gonna affect how your twists look but i mean it's not gonna be something crazy like it's still gonna come out nice regardless it's just that like your if your hair isn't the same like thickness and length of mine it's not gonna look exactly like this but with whatever hair length and thickness you have it's still going to look nice and make sure when you have these twists in you always moisturize your hair when i did my twist for the first time in nigeria um i wasn't moisturizing my hair and like when i got back my hair was really 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 dry and it started to feel like straw so i had to take down the twist as much as i loved them and i had to like deep condition my hair and wash my hair so please make sure you're always moisturizing your hair when you have these twists in you can moisturize it like every other day so let's jump straight into the video so um, I went ahead and took down the front section of my hair. Now, um, <clears throat> what you're going to do is simple. Um, first of all, you want to take some oil and make sure you moisturize your ends. Like, make sure you moisturize your ends. So I'm just going to take some oil. I'm using vitamin E oil. Pure vitamin E oil I got from Amazon. And just put that on your ends so your ends stay nice and uh, healthy next you want to take some cream I'm using my Talia Wajid um, cream I always put the link below so yeah take some cream and apply it throughout that section of hair this all of this yeah I'm gonna make it three sections um I did my twist really really chunky because I like like this look this full and chunky look when I did this style in Nigeria I like I cut small really small sections I think I had about 110 sections and it was still really full just that it wasn't as like elongated as this but now there are 48 plus these three that's 51 so if you want your hair to look like really, you see how fat these twists are, it's like really really chunky, then you cut big sections. After moisturizing, you're going to divide the sections. I'm just going to use the sections I already had in the morning when I did my hair. So I know there were three here. Like I said before, I have 51 if you want like a reference point. I can actually make these four sections though. Let me see. Maybe three is too big. It doesn't matter. So what I'm doing is that I'm taking two sections of hair I'm going to twist. 
and I'm twisting the roots very firmly. You want to do like the first three, four twists really, really firm at the roots. Next, you're going to fluff out your hair and you're going to twist the body very, very loose. That is what's going to create that thick, full volume in your hair. That's why I told you that even if your hair is thin, this technique is actually going to make it appear fuller. Once you get to the ends, you start twisting tightly again. So you twist the roots and the ends tightly and you twist the main body very loose. Then you twirl the end so it doesn't unravel. So you twist the ends and the roots tightly and the body very loose. So I'm just going to do the same thing to the other sections. Um, I'm not sure if I should make a video about different ways you can also style this twist. If you want that, please let me know down in the comment section. The direction you do your twist is also really important. If you want front bangs or like a side swoop bang, you want to twist some hair coming to the front. As you can see in the video, I did a side part-ish kind of. But yeah, twist your hair in the direction you want it to lay. As you can see, the twists are really full and chunky and they look so nice. This style is actually going to last me a while and I'm going to be moisturizing every other day. So now I'm just going to add some gold cuffs to my twist. And please check out other um, loose twist videos on YouTube so you can see different techniques and different ways that this style normally comes out. This is a style that looks absolutely gorgeous on kinky hair textures. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Don't forget to like, comment, share it, and please subscribe. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hi guys, so if you missed my last video, please be sure to check it out here. Click the link. So where I show you guys the new method I'm using to stretch my hair. No more blue drying for me. It's much safer. And um, yeah. Just check it out and also be sure to subscribe by clicking this link down below.